Hi guys, welcome. I'm Freddy from Freddy Makes a Movie, and I'm here today to talk about this. Now, this is my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro portable minimalist rig, and I'm here to show you how it's made. Let's check it out. The first thing I did on this camera is apply the tilt -a cage which I do believe is one of the best that you have available, mostly because of the uh, built-in Arca Swiss plate here. This is actually really, really convenient. The biggest advantage of this is actually not requiring two uh, screws for pivoting your camera when you're like on a gimbal or when you're on a tripod so that it doesn't swivel around. This is like basically an all-in-one solution. It's just like there's no way that it's gonna pivot around, which is very convenient. So that alone makes it my easily my go-to uh, second of all what i did to this cage is actually i removed the second half or i mean right half more than the second half uh, i removed the right half because i do like the camera's grip itself it's like very sturdy uh, so i didn't want to sacrifice that because otherwise it would have been like this angled square thing and i never really apply anything on the right side anyway so i decided to remove it and uh, I have this, which is great. And then on this side, what I have, um, this contraption that you're seeing here is honestly my um, alternative to what I see a lot of people for their minimalist setup. They, a lot of them tend to have a, a manual full of focus, which is, I mean, it's absolutely fine. I just never found it comfortable for me to hold it this way. So, um, and I knew that uh, ever since I discovered a tilt a side handle, this had to be more than just my on-set tool. So um, basically, I found a way to connect it either to the cage itself right here. So there is a uh, RE connector here, and then with the arm, it just goes a little bit out, which is actually a very good, um, it feels nice and sturdy. Like you can, if you, you feel stable just holding it like this. Plus, you know, you, you can rotate the handle to however convenient position you need, which is very nice. Uh, but on top of that, if I want to go even more minimalist, I actually have here, this is actually the, the core of my minimalist setup. So what I have done, uh, you can see maybe, hopefully, uh, let's see if I can show you, uh, right there. So normally on the cage at this point here, you would connect the bottom half of the cage that uh, basically holds the um, extra battery grip for the Blackmagic 6K Pro. But instead I managed to use this small rig um, rod clamp. And then just having this little rod coming out is perfect because I actually don't have to rely on a base plate and it's always attached to the cage, which is always with the camera. So then what I do is I uh, apply this Ari, where is it here? this RE connector that's on the rod. I don't use it all the time, but uh, if you're in a pinch and you wanna stay very minimalist, you can always use this. Make it very, very tight so that it doesn't swivel around. And then you just take this handle and put it here. And that makes it, that makes it even more compact. Actually, I'll show you. And uh, there we go. Now it's actually even more compact and I find it really, really, it's very easy. It feels intuitive actually to hold it. It's almost like it's meant to be used this way. So you still have your focus control here and you're still holding the camera fairly well. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna wobble around, which is also great. And yeah, I mean, you can see it. Like it's, it's, it's almost, like has it came out of the box. I think this has been honestly one of the, my uh, proudest discoveries, just like using this little single rod clamp here. And it changed honestly how I work with this camera because now I don't have to rely on base plates and long rods. I, it's, if I want, I can just be portable like this. Plus, I mean, if I am on a set and I need those heavier systems so that I have to use a shoulder rig, I mean, it, this doesn't really interfere with anything else. So I can still use a normal rod system the way I would before. It's just more of a, you know, if suddenly we want to go with a really crazy handheld sequence, then I just slide out the camera from the base plate and then I'm ready to go. If you are on a more portable option like this, of course, the major concern that always comes with these cameras is going to be the battery life. And I mean, there's really no easy way about it. 
uh, I think the solution I have found recently is to use the um, MPF battery plate that attaches here on the cage. And it's great because you can put on any type of MPF battery. It can be small, medium, or large. And then, you know, just connect it straight to the camera and it's like basically you're constantly charging the main camera, the main battery here. And then for storage, I am relying currently on CFast cards and you can shoot at higher quality, higher fidelity, um, and it's not gonna slow you down. I've had issues actually with the external SSDs where it would actually, like it wasn't keeping up with the data rate that it was supposed to record at. So I've had a couple of those issues here and there, but the CFast card so far has not disappointed, which is great. I actually do recommend it, despite the crazy price, which I not really a big fan of, but I mean, it's one of the advantages of this camera, right? You can choose, uh, it's pretty flexible in how you want to record. This is it, this is what I use. And uh, it's been very, very practical and easy to use. And I hope that this works for you as well. Who knows? That's the cool thing about, you know, experimenting and then sharing it on YouTube here. It's, you know, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but maybe there's something here that you're inspired to do or, you know, kind of like what I did. I saw a little bit of here, a little bit of there, and then I kind of made up my own thing. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you have any questions on this rig. I would love to see what your feedback is, if you have any other suggestions on how I can improve this, or if there's anything that you're curious to learn more about that I didn't cover, I would be more than happy to answer your questions. In the meantime, if you found this video useful or if you like the content of my channel, please consider liking, subscribing. I will be posting as much as I can. Other than that, I thank you so much guys for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.